everyone welcome back to my channel so today I've got a fun antique haul and this is basically just a bunch of like ephemera and vintage well antique and vintage books that we picked up while we were in Maine some of these I got from the Cabot Mill antiques right here as you can see from the bag and then some were from the Portland flea for all and then also I made an eBay order of like it was like a 10 plus ounces of just random um, vintage and antique ephemera so I'm excited to share with you guys what I've got some of it is missing already because I couldn't wait to film it um, and I already put it in my first junk journal that I have made which I will share with you guys soon on this channel so don't you worry but I'm gonna go through this little bag first and then we'll see where we're at because I have some other things from the flea market and whatnot to show you so this is all basically ephemera and stuff that I want to use for my junk journals as well as old books so this is the first thing that I've got it is the Erie Train Boy by Horatio Alger Jr. this is from the antique store I believe oh yeah it was five dollars um, so this is what the pages look like they're like so brown and crusty I fell in love with the cover though that's what really got me let's see if I could find a date for this um, so I googled this book real quick to see if I could find a date it says the original publishing year was 1890 so I don't know if this is the 1890 version but it kind of looks like it with how crusty the pages are so anyways this one will be awesome to use and to gut out and then I've got this gigantic dictionary and it is in German to English and English to German dictionary and it is gorgeous and super thick like oh my goodness so this is it was five dollars as well and let's see if I can find a date for you guys it says 1892 down here so I'm assuming that's it and I just thought it was really cool the font is really nice in here I don't know if I would um, got this out or what but it was this like leather spine that really made me buy it and it was only five dollars which compared to the goodwill prices yes it can be expensive also sorry if the Sun keeps um getting covered by clouds this has stopped me from filming for like hours right now and I just sucked it up and said I was gonna film anyways but um, yeah that keeps happening so this next thing is kind of like um, a scrapbook album like an autograph book and it like I fell in love with the spine at first and then I saw what it was and it belonged to this girl Eliza Ladd or woman and it looks like this like alligator print and I don't like that but I really like the spine so this is it was not a dollar it was five dollars as well I believe and it's filled with a bunch of letters to her from her friends and stuff and it was just it's beautiful and most of them are dated like 1828 right here and it's just really pretty like the handwriting got me and there's also some blank pages so I can always use those so I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna gut this though because it's so small I was also able to pick up this little old um, school supplies uh, booklet it's like basically what um, schools can purchase from this booklet and stuff to buy school supplies I was trying to find a date but I couldn't I might have to google it I didn't try googling it yet but there's like a bunch of school supplies in here that they can order and um, wait hold on let me move these books and uh, when we were actually in the whoops, that's a little picture of my doggy <laughs> it just fell he's just in the corner of my uh, desk right there but um, when I was uh, trying to cash out I mean uh, check out with all of my stuff this one actually didn't have a price on it so me and Scott and the manager we went back to the table where I found it and she just put a price on it so this was only three bucks which is pretty good but it has a bunch of stuff I don't know why I picked it I've always had a fascination with um, school supplies and whatnot so I don't know I just thought it was interesting so got that and then got a bunch of little ephemera and pictures and stuff so let me take this out of the bag now 
All right, so this is basically all mixed up between the places that I got them, so don't mind the disorganization. This was um, from the eBay order that I got, and it is this little um, fastener set for like kids. It was 29 cents originally, but um, for the entire um, 10 ounces, like 10.9 ounces that I bought on eBay, it came out to, I believe it was like 10 bucks. So, this alone was almost the entire price, so I thought I got a really good deal on that. Ooh, this looks really cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with this, if I'm going to keep it or not, but this is pretty cool. I'm going to look up the year for this when I'm done filming. This was also part of it. And so was this. It looks like a trade card, but really big. Some creepy looking baby right there. She looks like an old man. <laughs> And then, let's see, yeah, it's like, um, ask your grocer for flavoring extracts for sale. So I guess that's what, it's a chemical co. Weird. And then this postcard, it's really vivid coloring, I love it. Let's see if I can find a year. 1909, pretty cool. This postcard, it's just a picture of some ladies. I thought this was cool because they're in the city, so I wonder if that bar is still there. Maybe I could find it. Um, this postcard, it's a Merry Christmas one, and it's from, I can't find the year. So hard, I wish everyone dated everything, but you know. This is a little like picture of a bank. It looks pretty cool in Oklahoma. And then this picture of a post office in Springfield. What is this, Montana? Compliments of your friend is what it says on here. Oh, it's a postcard. Let's see. Year 1936, it looks like it says right there. And then this one is like a Dutch one. I don't know what this says. I'm going to have to look it up. This is Dutch dope, which I thought was really funny. But the coloring and the imagery is really pretty on this. I really liked it. This is from 1913. Another postcard. This says greetings from... And it's from June 1907. I like how most of the postcards back then would say like, I don't know if postcards nowadays have the same deal where you can't write like on this side so you only can write the address so this person was smart enough and wrote it on the front even though you can't even really read it. I don't know what it says though. Greetings from where? But anyways, here's a Christmas one. No writing so it was never used. Oh, there's like a, a druggist ad as well on there. Oh, maybe that's who it's from. It was like one of those advertisements they send. This is for a state fair. The Ohio State Fair. This is beautiful. Love how this looks. And it was during 1911. Here's another vintage postcard of Doling Park in Springfield, Montana. That looks really old. And here's another postcard of this guy leaning up against a pole like a lamp post and it says I am certainly up against it <laughs> having a fine time that's it that's all you wrote on your postcard dude let's see what year 1907 that's such a weird like I mean it's only one cent to send it so I guess I guess it doesn't really matter what you wrote Ooh. so this is another one it's the Baptist Church in Michigan let's see if I can find a year 1911 this is all still from that eBay order. I didn't know I was going to get this much stuff, to be honest. I was just really interested in the prints that came in here. So I was really excited to see all of this. I love looking at the little, like, ephemera packs in um, on Etsy and on eBay and finding some gold. So this looks like a trade card. Looks really cool. It's from that same company. This is just another print. Sorry if this video is long. I'm just so, I wanna look at each piece like carefully. This is like a fabric. 
add, which is pretty cool. And it's backed on this paper, I guess, to keep it safe. This is like a needle book, and I got a, quite a couple of these in this order. So one of them is actually in the junk journal, which I'll share eventually, hopefully within the next like week or so, if I can get around to filming it. So this one's pretty cool. And none of them actually had needles except for the one that I put inside my junk journal, so it was pretty cool. This one's another one. Like, I love these, how they looked. Especially like, oh my god, look at how cool that is. So it came with 70 needles and a threader. So this next bunch of prints um, sold as a um, set, I guess. But I got it for cheap. So um, it says prints 1 through 5 is was $70, which is crazy. I don't know. I haven't looked up these prints yet where they're from, but I don't know what they're from or what they mean what they were for but they i love the coloring it looks like there's some drama maybe some racism going on i don't know and then i also got this print i don't know if this was looks like it was on a scrapbook and it got removed and then i got a ton of these prints which they were all like four dollars each i used a couple already in my scrapbook so these alone were well worth it. I don't know if I'm going to keep all of these, but this is what they look like. They look like the same designer as the other prints. But these are really cool. I had There was one that I used in my um, junk journal that's like really funny. It's like this one dude who's like standing with his hand on his ear and he looks like, What you say? <laughs> like he's about to fight someone. It's really funny. But yeah, there's a lot. So I'm sorry if I'm speaking too much. I'll try to move a little faster. This is my first type of video with like this. Um, this one is like, um, looks like a trade card or an ad. It says the bar across the river. And then this one. And then some more of those. This one got a little damaged, but that's fine. It's still beautiful. This, this one looks like a bobblehead. So I don't know exactly who or what these are for or like why they were made or if they were like, whoops, sorry, kick the tripod. If they were ads or something, but I'm gonna have to look that up. Okay, so sorry if the camera um, situation moved over, but um, my tripod is broken right now. So one leg is like struggling and since I accidentally tipped um, like, push the tripod a little the one leg like, like gave out so I need to get a new tripod I have to get on that but anyways I got a ton of pictures of like I tried to get the least creepiest pictures as possible but I got him loved his hair this guy I had to get because he was really interesting looking and then this looks like a church or something And then it came with this map as well. This print. Love that. And then these were some bigger prints that look like they also came in a set with that. Once again, I don't know. These all look like the same artist, so I don't know what they're from. These are like thicker. They're on like cardstock. So I definitely can use these for some sort of, oh, whoops, I forgot to silence my phone. So next I've got this ad, I believe. Looks like, uh, oh, it's like an ad for a poster. You can order this as a poster, I guess. And as well as these. He looks like a creeper. This as well. So it looks like these are all for that 40 Thieves program or something. I guess it's for like a theater show, something like that. And then some more prints. It says that these are lithographic and they were eight bucks. So there's this 
guy. He looks like he's fishing. I don't know what he's fishing for though. What is that? What is that? It looks almost like a guinea pig or something. That is weird. And now he's he's sitting on a whale. What is going on? And he's smoking and fanning himself. I don't know what this is about. But what? <laughs> what the? Okay, anyways. So next I got this set of cards in this box. I don't know if they really belong there and they're for a bridge set. So they're just old cards. I just liked how the back looked. And yeah. And then here's another picture of a little kid. These I know I got the flea market. They're coasters. And I really like these Carlsberg ones. Mine's me. Of football and this one was pretty cool too and then I also have this Here's a receipt and then oh, there's my paid thing and then this cute um, like leather piece thought it was cute because it was like romantic and then some pictures got him he looks like he got like water damaged over time, but and then him it says Imperial Minette from Boston. Oh, this guy was Uncle Arthur, the water damage guy. This one it says Daniel Wood Words Word, something like that. But pretty cool to see all these old photos, and then that was someone's relative. That's pretty cool. Um, excuse my neighbor, they're hitting their trash can. Anyway, so then I got some vintage Valentines and things. So let me... So this is the first one. And all of these are addressed to Woodrow Wilson. Um, if you missed our vlog where I picked these up, like you would have seen it, but yeah, it's strange. I don't think it's the president Woodrow Wilson. That'd be awesome if it was. <laughs> But I got a lot. Not as many as I would have liked. I put a few already of my favorites in my first junk journal that I made for myself to journal in. So, oh, here's an ad. So I'm excited. And then I also got this, like, highway station receipt book from the flea market. So, um... I have a bunch more stuff to share, so let me grab all of that. Okay, so I've got this other little baggie full of stuff, and I think this is also full of stuff from all over. Like this, I remember I picked out at the flea market. It was kind of expensive, 75 cents for one stamp, but I'm really obsessed with airmail stamps. And I plan to do an airmail themed um, junk journal, well a few at least, because that's one of my favorite themes. So I picked it up. This was pretty cool, it was from Gettysburg. 1938 and here's another trade card this I really liked just how it's in the shape of a book so butter eggs tea and coffee and then these were some of my favorites they're like love ones and this one says sitting kiss her longingly I don't know when when it's from what year I'm gonna have to look that up and then this one says, after a brisk ride, kiss her hilariously. This one was really cool too. It was only a dollar or two, I believe. I was really hoping it would be um, January, so it would be in Aquarius. But this is kind of like a, it tells you who you should marry if you were born in February. So if you were born in February, pause this and take a look at who you should marry. Here's some um, more trade cards and stuff. Some of them were back when there was like some racial, you know, this is like one of them, those like racist um, kind of ads going on there. Um, this is an ad for, oh, my throat's going, the World's Columbian Exposition. It's really pretty. It's a little booklet. And then there's this little card. This little picture year nope this was cool because I had the Statue of Liberty you know I'm a New Yorker there's another picture of that little kid some more stamps from 
the flea market, more airmail ones, another trade card. <laughs> ton of trade cards. I love them. I absolutely love them. I love the artwork. And why did I think that was a real fly just now? <laughs> oh my god, it looks so real, but why is it so huge? Oh. What is this? Oh, it's a shoe fly. This picture contains an elk, peacock, shark, butterfly, lion, tiger, blah 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 blah. Oh, what is this? Like a search a searching one? Like you look for all the hidden animals in here what oh my god that's kind of cool but kind of scary because all i'm seeing is creepy faces do you see that like look at this one so scary anyway so that's this little pouch that i've also picked up so speaking of flea markets um i wasn't really speaking of flea markets but i'm speaking of it now so um every weekend in that mill old mill place where the antique store is, they have a flea market and I was able to get all of these books for a dollar each and I was so excited. I wish I could have gone again. But anyways, this first book is The Life of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle and it is awesome. Uh, let's see if I can find a date for you guys. Look, there he is. Um, First edition, 1949. There you go. So I really liked how this book looked. It's really pretty. It's a nice green color. And then this one as well, I was super excited about. Look at it. Just look at, for a dollar. You can't beat that. I grabbed this one up right away. And it is beautiful. So let me see if I can. Um, the pages are nice and crusty. I love it. Um, I don't know if that's exactly the date right there. It says 1909 so it looks like it got some like damage probably from being like stuck somewhere but this is really cool and it's about all the Queen Anne's and stuff so that was really cool for a dollar and then I also picked up this old um, 1956 yearbook from Rensselaer um, Polytech Institute and I went to school up in Albany so RPI was right there like it's really interesting the pictures in here so I figured I don't know I could cut this up and use it for stuff I like that the pictures are still in black and white and you can see like what their hairstyles were like and all that really funny and for a dollar there's so many like pictures in there that I can cut up I can use for all sorts of crafts and whatnot and I can share and friend mail so I'm excited to have all of those but I also have some other stuff that I picked up from the flea market as well so in addition to those books I was also able to, to pick up some bags of like old mail and stuff basically so I picked up three bags of like old papers and old mail that for 20 bucks from this little old lady and on eBay if you guys take a look these um, old letters and stuff can bring a hefty price so there's a lot of stuff in here I went through all of them with uh, Scott when I was in Maine, if you have seen our vlogs, you probably saw it. There's a bunch of stuff in here, not just mail. There's like um, old business cards and all that stuff. I forgot what years they're from. Um, they're mostly from like 1960 uh, or 1950 and up till like 1970 and 80. And um, I actually ended up looking up the guy whose mail this is like people wrote to him and he was actually um, a famous artist in Maine so it was pretty cool like reading about like his all of the letters were so interesting that's why I felt compelled to look him up because I was like this dude must be strange because he hung out with some weird people like there was people who were saying weird dirty things in there and like sending pictures and whatnot like drawings and it turns out he was a famous artist he like drew um, paintings of like marine kind of things like boats on the ocean and stuff and his paintings are actually worth something so in one of these actually 
I found one of his sketches and all that stuff. I also found a letter from Betty White and me and Scott tried um, verifying and I looked up her signature and all that stuff. It matches pretty well. So I don't know if it's actually Betty White. That'd be kind of cool, but you never know. So anyways, I don't know what I'm going to do with all this yet, but it was really, really fun to look through. And for 20 bucks for three big bags, I am not mad because there's at least over 150 letters in here. And then in addition to those at um, the flea market, I was able to pick up two scrapbooks from her the next weekend. And these were both 20 bucks as well. I probably could have like um, haggled her a bit, but I didn't really want to because we were driving back up to New York. And I also picked up this scrapbook from the antique store actually. This one is like new old stock basically. So it's not used at all. And it was um, selling for $5 and then it was 20% uh, off. So it was only like four something. And I've seen these sell on eBay for like at least 20 bucks. So I'm excited to have this. And I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna use it. I'm probably gonna resell it. But I had to pick it up. I saw that the first day I went and I kept thinking about it every time we went after and then I finally bought it right before I left. So anyways, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna see if I could do a quick like flip through for you guys of these scrapbooks and just share a little of each one of these. So let me zoom out a bit. Sorry, my desk is a mess. These are um, washies that last night I just took out to de-stash. So there's quite a lot of washi right here and then there's like little bins right here of washi samples and stuff that I took out of my desk. A little JFK card that I won on eBay. I'm so happy about that. He's going to be in my planner. But anyways, yeah, so my desk is a little crowded right now, so I'm going to see if I can do this. This is the first one. It's a little janked up, but there's some stamps right here, some tickets. It looks like it says this is it says September 20th, Milan Wakefield Anniversary. 1973 cliff and francesca the gift or something oh here's a christmas gift tag from 1964 but anyways this red one is falling apart pretty much but the green one is still put together pretty well so i'm trying to decide if i want to like take them apart and stuff but like i don't know now that i have them because originally my plan was i was going to take them apart and take the, all the ephemera and stuff there's like some tap like tickets and stuff from plays. I was gonna take them apart and stuff, but now that I have them, I don't know if I wanna keep them together. Maybe this one I'd take apart because it's already pretty much falling apart. But yeah. Oh, a little seal. Look, a little seal. So yeah, there's some receipts in here. What is that? Re-registration, 1972. Some newspaper articles, lots of newspaper articles. I've realized that from looking on eBay, that um, a lot of people back in the day really liked to scrapbook their um, uh, newspaper articles. What Ford will do, so I guess this is when Ford was president. That's pretty cool. I don't know who that is. I'm going to have to look that up if that's someone famous or something but yeah so I'm gonna give you guys a quick flip through as well as I can obviously some of these the glues are um, falling apart Ooh, this is like a Norwegian cruise oh cool I wonder if they went on a cruise wow look at this imagery that's cool oh it's like a little cruise up in Maine that's cool I would do that there's some receipts right here. JFK, can you stop going in my scrapbook? So, they obviously lived in Maine. I bought this from the same little old lady, so I don't know if she just loves vintage ephemera or what. But there's some letters in here. I ha I've yet to completely dig through these because I wanted to film it, but I'm such a loser and I'm filming this like weeks after I've arrived back. So this has been sitting in my room. Hello, my name is Milan Wakefield, installing officer, 1973. 
There's a lot of ticket stubs. This is a pretty good angle, eh? So, um, so yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I've been keeping my eye out on eBay. I found a new love for buying old scrapbooks, like vintage scrapbooks. I want to get some Victorian ones, but they be selling for like 60 bucks on there. So we'll see what I can do. So these are, this is basically um, from the 1960s to 70s, this little, um, this red scrapbook. And it's all about Maine. There's a lot of postcards and cards and newspaper articles. Lots and lots of newspaper articles and stuff. There's a lot of papers. A group of cats is called a clutter. Well, good to know. Thank you. Wow. They're, whoa. Okay. Oh, it looks like they made copies of this little cartoon from the newspaper. I don't know why they needed so many, but thank you. <laughs> Interesting. Ooh, a lobster pound restaurant. It's interesting. I, My favorite part about this is looking at what people thought were significant in their life at that point that they felt the need to scrapbook. Because I know when I make my scrapbooks, I take forever to do it. Like, I need the pictures that mean the most. I need the events that meant the most to me. So it's really interesting. I'm sorry if I'm so boring and if this is boring to you. But this is really interesting to me. And there's so much in here. There's some stamps. Like, this is a pretty cool, um, wow, cool look. There's some um, stuff from the Knights Templar. What? Whoever this is was a member of, um, a lot of things that were prestigious. <laughs> the Korra Temple. Look at all these stamps. This is awesome. Look, I'm thirsty. Oh, it was on a plant. That's cute. <laughs> Sorry, you can see my um, camera strap. Let me try to... Oh, making it worse. Making it worse. There's like some pictures of some birds, eggs, creepy. Oh, this is cool. It's like, um, is that a school, uh, what is it? Uh, mascot? There's like a little Charlie Brown thing right there. Pretty cool. Sorry about the shakiness when I move it. There's a lot of pages in here, like endless, endless amounts. Look, another Charlie Brown thing. It's a little Snoopy. But there's a lot of goodies. And there's like, wow, look at this newspaper. There's even a newspaper in here. Let's see if I can find... 1998. Oh, I was five years old. I wonder how this ended up with all this stuff in here. Like if they just started stuffing things in here. Oh, there's like a cover of another album in here. <laughs> but that is the first album. The second album, I fell in love with the cover. It's like a picture of Maine, and I thought it was pretty cool. The spine's a little messed up, but it's still pretty good. So let's see. There's a lot of um, articles. I think this might be from the same family. Like the Wakefield family. Pretty cool train. And whatnot. A lot of um, newspaper articles and tickets. Let's see if I can find a time frame. This one's 1917. I like these stamps. Let's see if I can find a name. Oh yeah, this is from the Wakefields as well. Maybe this is like the mom or something because it says Mandy. Maybe, um, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, some of the tape is falling off, of course. Boy Scout Committee. Some giant stamps. There's a lot of stuff because the tape has moved around, of course. It doesn't really exactly last that long, this tape.
Oh, I thought that was Princess Diana for a second. It looks just like her. Oh, this is cool. One half of an Americana bill inside match the halves in Shell's Americana game. So they got a $5 bill. I guess they didn't find the other match. Oh, this is cool. Steam excursion. Scott's grandfather in England loves trains. So I bet he would love all this train stuff. He probably has his own old um, train stuff. They've got some pretty cool stuff in England. I would love to go antiquing in England. Oh my goodness. I think I would die. <laughs> so this is a pretty cool um, postcard from the Expo 67. I don't know what Expo that is, but it looks pretty cool. Some letters. Let's see, this is from Don McWilliams, a sports announcer in um, from radio station WCHS from Portland, Maine. Huh. Oh, it's to him. Oh, look, there's a picture of him right here and a signature. So pretty cool. Some cards. This one's cute to the one I married. We may not be young lovers that we used to, but I still get that old feeling each time you look at me. Oh, and it's a little pop-up. That's so cute. A little high school, um, oh my God, my camera strap. Can you not? Some more newspaper articles, a little picture of a kid. I don't know who that is, maybe a grandchild. Some more articles and letters. More letters, a lease, looks like some stuff from their cars and stuff, interesting. And that is it. So that is it for my huge antique haul that I made. I hope you guys enjoyed and find this stuff as interesting as I do. I love looking back at history and looking at everything and what life was like. I'm so interested in that. I've always been since I was little. It might be strange to some people, boring to others, but I find it super interesting and I think it's absolutely amazing that now we can use that in our crafts nowadays and it's just fantastic to me. I know I'm such a freak, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like and subscribe to see more videos. Bye. Hopefully I can do more antique and eBay hauls or something like this. If you guys like it, leave a like and let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more videos like this because I can definitely do that. I enjoy it. And if you guys enjoy it, that just makes it 10 times better. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.